Welcome to Smack This, the unofficial God Smack podcast. I'm your host, Kevin Humphrey, where I talk all things God Smack. This is episode 36, uh, Lighting Up a Sky album review. Uh, in God Smack news this week, like I mentioned in last week's episode uh, number 35 in God Smack news, Friday was a busy day. Uh, first off, the new single of the new album, Soul on Fire, uh, was released as a single, and it also has a video. If you've not seen that video, check it out. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, also on Friday, the biggest news, uh, the new album came out. Uh, if you had not got your copy of it, go get it or download it or whatever else there is out there. Uh, so... Uh, they've been quite busy this week. Uh, they announced on Pandora Music as the new album. Uh, Soul on Fire is the most thumbs up rock song so far this week. Uh, so that's awesome. I don't have Pandora Music, but uh, that's great. All right, keep it going. Um, on Tuesday, they launched a uh, Instagram film. Filter, easy for me to say. Filter for the new album as well, where you can hold the whole world in your hand. Uh, I haven't done that yet. I will do that this weekend. Uh, mostly, uh, this week in God Smack News, the band has been doing a ton, and I mean a ton of interviews. In fact, they're doing so many, I can't keep up this week. Uh, so that'll give me something to do this weekend. Uh, like... Sully was on Reddit. Uh, Sully and Shannon were, was on a show called Power Hour Show on Access TV. Uh, Sully did an interview on Heavy Magazine in Australia. Uh, plus a bunch more. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of it. Uh, Sully was on uh, Loudwire Nights. There's actually, if you go on loudwire.com, you can Fine. There's an article on Sully, uh, and there's the big whole interview. Again, I'm going to watch that later. Uh, so, like I said, they're everywhere now. So, that's fantastic. Uh, today, while I was finishing up, getting ready for this episode, uh, they posted a um, asking a question for us, the fans. That's the better way to say it. Uh, what's our favorite song or songs on this new album? It's almost been a week now since it's released, and you'll have to wait and see what I say. Uh, but I got some sad news. Uh, while I was at work, uh, my friend down in uh, Sao Paulo, uh, South America, Thago Diaz, uh, showed me a link that the South American tour has been canceled. Um, I really was hoping that God Smack would come down there in uh, late April. Uh, but according to this little article thing that he sent me, uh, it says lack of ticket sales, which I, I guess I, I can understand that if they're not making enough money to kind of pay for them to come down there and ship all the stuff uh, the equipment and stuff uh, I can kind of see it but I'm it's a sad thing I, I really wish they would uh, uh, say exactly why uh, because I can't find it on godsmack.com I can't find it on their Instagram Twitter uh, TikTok uh, if you go on godsmack.com and click on the tour, the tour dates that were there for the South American shows are all of a sudden gone. Uh, no reason why or no saying why. So, again, I, I feel bad for all you guys down there in South America, all my friends out there. Uh, so hopefully, maybe they'll reschedule later on in the year. Who knows? Uh, so positive thoughts alright so that's it God smack news this week that's kind of a long news there 
uh, episode 36, Lighting Up the Sky, is what we're going to be talking about. There's a little glare. Uh, this album is what we're going to be talking about this week. Uh, so yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, so let's go with the timeline. Now the timeline is a long timeline, and I'll explain why towards the end. Um, so let's pick up where we left off in episode 16, if you can imagine that. Episode 16 with Legends Rise album review. Uh, the band went on tour in 2018. Uh, they first started playing festivals. And then they hooked up with uh, Shine Down, a uh, cool band, a uh, hometown band, or at least the singer is, uh, Shine Down, for a co-headlining tour. I wish I saw this. This sounds amazing. Uh, then they did their own headlining tour uh, with opening acts like, like Like a Storm. That's a cool band. Like a Storm's a really cool new band. Asking Alexander that... Alexandria, there we go. Uh, another really cool band, New Year's Day, really cool new band, Stitched Up Hard. I've talked about them in past episodes. Uh, Monster Truck, really cool band. Check them out. They're really, really good. They're almost kind of a southern rock kind of band, but they're from Canada, which is really kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, check them out. They're really cool. Hailstorm and uh, Volbeat, another really cool band. Volbeat is really good. Uh, they also took part of Knot Fest in Mexico. That's a Slipknot uh, music festival. Uh, the tour came to a halt because of COVID-19, obviously. However, the band members did stay active on their own. Uh, Sully did his own podcast. I've kind of talked about this before. Uh, hometown Sessions. Uh, Tony and Shannon did a streaming concert with the Apocalypse Blues Revival. Uh, Robbie stayed home, which I don't blame him, uh, with his wife and kids. Uh, although, I will say this, all four members of the band did show up in one episode of uh, Hometown Sessions. I think it's the very last episode. It's the concert uh, episode. Uh, Shannon does have an episode of his own on Hometown Sessions, which was really cool. Uh, Sully did a solo tour with uh, stained singer Aaron Lewis, who I've kind of talked about, uh, where they did outdoor shows in drive-in movies. Uh, the band actually did get together. Uh, sorry, there's my notes. You're going to see a lot of notes. Uh, did did get together and start recording a new album, but then they stopped. Uh, Sully said in an interview, uh, "What was the rush? Uh, you know, with COVID still going on, uh, a lot of new band or bands were going to be putting out albums at the same time. So why why rush it?" Uh, but then they stopped, and then they got back together, and. According to Shannon uh, that I read in one of these multiple interviews that I've said in God Smack News, uh, Shannon had said that they scrapped all those songs except, uh, let's see, where is it? Except for two songs. Uh, Sully had more songs when they came back together, and then while they were finishing the album, uh, they started playing. Uh, shows, what I called, me personally called the radio festival shows, uh, which I talk about in episode two. I mean, that's way back there. Uh, so if you want to check out episode two, the radio festival shows. Uh, and that's when the big blockbuster announcement that Sully said to Tampa, to a Tampa radio station, that this may be the last album for Godsmack. Uh, not only, sorry, my, my camera's messing up. Not only did they play those shows, but they played other shows as well. Uh, they played a show in their hometown in Boston, which I do a review of that show on episode 12. 
Uh, they played at Ocean City, Maryland, which is episode 15, if you want to check that one out. Uh, they also played a show in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, episode 17. Now, I'm going to stop real fast on this. Um, during the promotion, kind of pre-promotion for this new album, uh, at the Vegas show, uh, they invited a bunch of radio DJs uh, around the country to come listen to five songs off this album. So they got a little sneak peek before uh, anybody else. Okay, so let's continue. So more shows. And then they did a European tour in October, which I talked about in episode 22. And that's way prior to this album. They finished the album. And now let's talk about this album. Uh, the album was released last Friday. February 24, 2023 on BMG, BMG Records. It was recorded at Godsmack headquarters. Now here's another little stoppage here. Uh, there was an interview uh, that Sully did with uh, Mistress Carrie who was a uh, rock DJ in Boston and where Sully was uh, driving his truck to Florida and he, she asked him why he's going to Florida. And this is like when they first got started to get together to start recording this or a album. Uh, he said that they had built another Godsmack headquarters in Florida. Uh, so when it says that they recorded this at Godsmack headquarters, I have a feeling they did it in uh, both places in Florida and New Hampshire. Uh, so let's get back to it. Uh, it was co-produced by Sully and uh, Murdoch, who Murdoch did uh, the debut album and uh, God Smack Awake, which was the second album. Uh, so it kind of goes full circle. I think that's actually kind of cool. Uh, he also did parts uh, with Sully's solo albums in uh, live DVD. So he's always kind of been in the fold and even more in the fold as later years have gone by. Uh, it was mixed by Dave Vortman. Dave Vortman, we've talked about a lot. Uh, guitar player for Ugly Kid Joe, former bandmate of Shannon. Uh, produced uh, all the Apocalypse Blues reviews and revivals. and uh, He did something for Sully on his solo album. Uh, hometown Sessions, or I'm sorry, Hometown Life. Uh, so yeah, uh, also the Oracle, A Thousand Horsepower, he co-produced those two Godsmack albums. So Dave Fortman's been in it for a long time in the Godsmack circle. Now, why this timeline is long is because it's a five-year gap between When Legends Rise to this new album which is kind of odd, uh, but you know you got COVID nineteen that kind of shut everything down. Plus, the band kind of wanted to take their time on this album. Uh, they so far have released two singles off this album: "Surrender," which also has a video, and the new song which I talked about in Godsmack News earlier in this podcast, "Soul on Fire," which also has a video. They also gave us a little sneak peek of another song called You and I. It doesn't have an official video. It's just basically the album cover. But uh, you can listen to it on YouTube. Uh, and that's it as far as the timeline goes. Now, let's go. Let's do the fun stuff. Let's talk about this album. Okay, the first song on the album is called You and I. Uh, starts off with this guitar distortion, kind of fades in. Uh, then it has this great guitar riff, starts with the, and then the whole band kind of comes in. Uh, then Sully starts to sing. It's absolutely fantastic. Great lyrics, fantastic playing. In the middle of the song, uh, fantastic guitar solo by Tony. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you now, Tony absolutely shreds on this album. It is absolutely, I think, his best guitar solo work on any Godsmack album is this one right here. 
so along with Sully doing some echo effects kind of on top of one another uh, sounds amazing and then it stops and then it kind of kicks back in uh, it's so good uh, it's a great song to kick off the album I think you and I this is fantastic so now let's go to track number two and that is called Red, White and Blue uh, this one kicks in with a guitar riff, then the band kind of comes in. Uh, Sully starts to sing. This one has a great groove in it, uh, fantastic lyrics, uh, fantastic playing, catchy chorus. Uh, this song is very patriotic, I think, especially about things that's been going on since COVID. Uh, I won't get into big detail on that. But here in the United States, there was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and I almost have a feeling, uh, I could be wrong, uh, Sully uh, said something about uh, somebody up top, presidential-wise. I won't say who. But anyway, <laughs> and uh, how his disapprovement, and of course he kind of got bashed all over the internet for it. Uh, so this is, I think, a song to kind of rebut that, uh, you know, Stan, he's, even though he doesn't like what's really going on, he's still going to stand by the red, white, and blue, and I actually kind of echo that sentiment. Okay, so check that song out if you haven't. Uh, track number three is called Surrender. Uh, this one kicks right in, great groove, uh, it's a different kind of singing from Sully. It's almost kind of a talking kind of singing. He's almost asking questions as uh, on the lyrics. It's actually really cool. Uh, a lot of uh, fantastic... Uh, sorry, there's my notes. Uh, fantastic lyrics. Catch chorus. Uh, it has this little middle break in it. Uh, and then it, uh, it slowly builds back up. It's so freaking good. I love this song so much. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Check out the song, Surrender. Just watch the video. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, track number four uh, is What About Me. Uh, this song just kicks right in. Fantastic groove. Then slows down as Sully starts to sing. Then kind of builds back up during the chorus part. Uh, this one goes up and down. Kind of a song. It's the roller coaster song, which I absolutely love when Godsmack does this. Uh, great lyrics, great playing, fantastic solo by Tony. Again, uh, just a fantastic song all the way around. Uh, song number five is called Truth. Uh, it starts with Sully on piano, and he starts to sing. It's absolutely fantastic. It's almost, I really wouldn't say under your scars. Uh, it's almost kind of a dream on kind of song to me. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is the ballad on the album. It's brilliant, I think. The lyrics are very emotional. Uh, absolutely incredible, the whole entire song. Uh, Tony's guitar solo is amazing. Uh, I think this, this whole song is so good. It, again, check this one out. It's called The Truth really good track number six is called hell's not dead uh starts off with guitar playing or playing of a guitar riff then comes right in uh as the band comes in uh Stully starts to sing sounds fantastic has this great groove in it you definitely have you uh moving and grooving on this one uh, catchy chorus, the lyrics are great, fantastic guitar solo by Tony, again, uh, great song, I love it, I think this is a really good song as well, I could actually see this one be a single, uh, song number seven is called Soul on Fire, uh, starts with this, uh, great guitar riff, uh, with Shannon kind of playing in the background, then the rest of the band comes in, it's almost... I almost say a punk song uh, because it's so fast. It's a little bit faster than what they usually play. Uh, so yeah, it, I think it as a punk song. The lyrics and playing are absolutely fantastic. 
catchy chorus. Uh, this song rocks big time, I think. It's so good. Another, it's so good. Uh, Tony's guitar solo is outstanding. Sully singing is amazing. Again, I love this song as well. Uh, track number eight is called Let's Go. Uh, Shannon kicks this one off, counting it in. And then uh, this guitar, great guitar riff starts, comes in on top. And Sully starts off singing. This song is awesome. Uh, there's a break in the middle. Again, it's kind of your little roller coaster where they go down with a kind of a screaming guitar. Uh, Tony solo kicks in. It's absolutely amazing. The drumming by Shannon is fantastic. I love his. In fact, it's his drumming that builds the song back up. It's a great song. It's called Let's Go. Uh, track number nine is called Best of Times. Uh, starts off with the guitar uh, guitar riff, then comes uh, the band. It almost has this um, spiral or tripping kind of vibe to it. Those two songs off the Awake album. So it's kind of cool that they kind of did like a throwback uh, sound wise. It's really good. I really liked it. I picked it up as soon as I heard it. Uh, Friday when I got the album and started listening to this all the way through I was like oh wow this is tripping kind of sparrow kind of thing oh well, I love this uh, it's a great uh, like I said great throwback picks up a, up in the chorus a fantastic song again check that one out uh, track number 10 is called Growing Old uh, starts off with this kind of organ playing, an acoustic guitar with Sully singing. Uh, the lyrics are great. The playing is as well. Uh, such a great song, catchy chorus, great guitar solo by Tony again. Uh, yeah, this is a great song. I was kind of uh, worried <laughs> when I saw the album title, Growing Old. Uh, I was like, uh, I don't know what this is going to be. But uh listening to this song this song I've listened to this album uh three times all the way through since I bought it Friday uh growing old could have fit on the other side EP so it's kind of a uh, running blind kind of voices kind of vibe uh yeah I really dig it I love it track number 11 and this is the last song on the album it's the title track, Lighting Up the Sky. It just kind of comes in right after uh, Growing Old kind of fades out. Uh, with the guitar and a little bit of drumming from Shannon. As the song slowly builds up, it's kind of a, a little slow build up on this. Then it just rocks and then it kind of slows down as Sully starts to sing. Uh, this song is awesome. I, I really like this song. It kind of surprised me this wasn't the lead-off single. Uh, the lyrics, the singing, the playing is absolutely fantastic. It is so freaking good. Check this song out. Uh, picks up, uh, the tempo picks up on the chorus. There's some echo effects again by Sully uh, in parts of it. There's a short uh, guitar solo by Tony, but it fits it just perfect. Uh, then, uh, towards the end of the song, uh, another little throwback. Uh, there's some talking, kind of like newsworthy kind of talking, uh, like the song Mistakes, which was on the Wake album. And they also did it on a bunch of other songs on the Oracle. Uh, then there's like a grand finale kind of the, at the end of the song it's absolutely great uh yeah check that one out the title track lighting up the sky all right so that's the album so let's rate it one out of ten one being the worst ten being the best i'm gonna give it a ten i love this album already uh yeah i listened like i said i've listened to it three times all the way through i've had it in my car since <laughs> friday uh, yeah, Lighting Up the Sky is absolutely awesome. Uh, well worth the wait. Uh, we'll go with least favorite song. Done.
there is a, a bad song on this album, I don't think. Uh, favorite song or songs? Uh, you and I, Red, White, and Blue, Surrender, Truth, Soul on Fire, uh, Hell's Not Dead, Let's Go, Lighting Up the Sky. It's the whole that it's the whole album. I'm almost guessed there. It's the whole album is fantastic. They're my favorite songs. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be listening to this album the rest of this week. Uh, so homework this week. Uh, you rate the album one out of ten. One being the worst, ten being the best. Do you have this album? Did you download it? Did you buy the CD like I did, or the vinyl? Uh, what's your favorite song or, or uh, least favorite songs on the album? Okay, so let me do this real fast because I really wanted to talk about this. If you haven't got this yet, I mean, check out these pictures. This is absolutely amazing. I don't know if you can see it. And this is why another thing I think that they used uh, both the studio in Florida and in uh, New Hampshire. Uh, but yeah, this is absolutely awesome. Uh, because of those pictures, if you watched Hometown Sessions, uh, there was quite a few episodes that Sully did. Sorry, I'm struggling. Uh, that Sully did at God, Godsmack headquarters. And uh, yeah, some of these pictures, are they look familiar. Some of them don't. And if this is an awesome picture of the band, if this is not a poster, I'll be shocked. Hit, hit, wink, wink to God's back. Uh, so, that's it for this week. I'll put that up here after here in a second. It is a long episode. I am sorry, but I mean, I, I have to talk about this album. Uh, next week, next Thursday, episode 37. We're going to go back in time. Time to rewind. Uh, we are going pre-Godsmack. Uh, we're going to talk about a band that Sully was in called Melia Rage. Uh, there's actually an album called Unfinished Business that he actually plays drums on. And I'm going to talk about that album, Trap by Trap, next week, next Thursday. If you know anybody that's a Godsmack fan, likes to talk about Godsmack, hear about Godsmack, send them this way. Send them the link. Tell them to go on Google, Firefox, YouTube. Type in Smack This, the unofficial, and all the episodes will pop up. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. That helps out the podcast. And that's it for this week. I feel winded on this. Okay. Uh, see you guys next Thursday. And you just got Godsmack.